In our present and tumultuous economic times we're in right now, you may need to develop skills that's future relevant and recession and depression proof. Right now, possessing a technology skill stack is your best bet to acquire the best career security you'll need in these hard times. Now, I can guarantee you that technology is not going anywhere anytime soon. What's up, everyone? Welcome for the first time or back to another DLJ Works video. And the reason I even went to DeVry was because they were ahead of things in regards to providing technology-based majors. Back in 2011, I was blessed with the foresight to see that I needed a technology skill stack as the job market would soon have a heavy need for capable people to sophisticate and domesticate the World Wide Web and build online infrastructures. Now, for me to position myself in this space, I saw web design and development as the easiest means for me to get my foot in that door. Now, the only problem was that there were very few universities that offer a web dev curriculum designed specifically for aspiring web developers. And after a couple of months of research, that's when DeVry came into the picture, surprisingly. Now, why didn't I go the self-taught route? And honestly, I didn't know where to begin, and as I was still a firm believer in formal education, minus the whole indoctrination that we experience today. Plus, I wanted professors with experience in this field I can ask questions to, and other like-minded individuals pursuing the same goals that I was. And if you were like me and still would like to have a degree under your belt, then continue to watch. Otherwise, I wish you the best on your path in the self-development route. Now, those who are returning viewers know that I'm a DeVry alumni with a two-year degree in web graphic design with six years of teaching technology and one year working directly in my related field. Now, I have previous videos talking about my DeVry experience, but in this video, I'm going to make suggestions on the best majors to get involved in during our tumultuous economic times if you're considering attending DeVry University. Now, I understand people are skeptical of DeVry because of their whole for-profit reputation, but honestly, what does that matter if their accreditation is legitimate and they offer programs that will benefit you? That's what you should be really looking for. And in my opinion, they're still the best game in town when it comes to their educational offerings for technology programs. If you go on and you look at their site today, they offer even a wider range of certificates that can feed into two and four year undergrad tech degrees outside of traditional computer science degrees that will benefit you in the long term. Now, a disclaimer before we jump into the topic is that the degree is just a springboard in the beginning. And despite the projected median earnings presented on those sites, I'm here to tell you from experience that in this field, there is no salary cap. Now, you have to continue to invest in yourself and the skills to continue providing value as a freelancer, employee, or entrepreneur. So without further ado, let's now take a look at the tech degrees the Rye offers that will place you in a position to be highly marketable, employable, and start after today and beyond. When you come onto the DeVry website, and right now I'm, I'm doing this on my phone, I'm learning how to be a mobile content creator. So that's why you actually see me doing this right now. So if it's vertical and that verticality bothers you, I apologize in advance. Let's jump right into this. When you get onto the DeVry website, you wanna go to their, click on their menu, and you wanna go to programs, and we're going to scroll all the way down until we get to this area underneath explore our programs for today's modern world we're only going to check out technology programs and media arts we're not looking at business health definitely not liberal arts if you want to go to liberal arts the is not that direction for you um we're only their, their strength is going to be in their tech programs all right uh, and in their graduate programs too, I heard some good things about that and everything else. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go into media arts though, because if you're trying to just be a web designer and developer, and you're just trying to get a general skill in that, uh, you can see that there's very little. They, they, it's very tight. Michael say very little, but it's very tight in terms of what's being offered here in this space right now at this moment in time. Under the media arts program, you can actually see that. And go in here first. You can actually see that it's very tight. It's very to the point directly in what you need, if you're, especially if you're just trying to be a web designer developer. This is probably going to cover all your needs if that's the direction you want to go, just like I did all those years ago where I actually majored in web graphic design, which was a two-year degree program under this, but that's not being offered anymore. It seems like they just rolled that into just getting an undergraduate certificate with website design and website development. So but we'll go into undergrad certificates and, and what that how that feeds into two to four year degrees when we look at technology programs but if you're just trying to just 
laser in, laser focus on just website design and development, then this is going to be a program for you, especially get a four-year degree here for this. So if we read this, it says, our career focused media arts and technology degree programs provide practical experience with leading trends in technology for web and digital design. All right, We can help you develop the technical, creative, and problem-solving skills you need for a future in the media design industry. So as a result, students can learn digital imaging skills, refine design sensibilities, and ability to visualize concepts as well as grasp the practical and professional applications of artistic endeavors. Plus, when you earn an undergraduate certificate in website design or website development, you can be prepared to take an industry certifications exams, including Adobe Certified Associates exams. This is great because this wasn't offered in a two-year degree that I actually had when I went all those years ago, though I was exposed to a lot of like Adobe based products. Like even to this day, that's the technology, that's the design stack that I use, Photoshop, Illustrator, uh, with some other supplements to the side of that, but my main primary tool skill set in this is using Photoshop and that sort of thing um, in order to do and create online graphics and, and moving forward with that and adding things to websites. So that's what I've actually was exposed to when I was in this program. But yeah, if you're just trying to get this now, if you're on a self-taught route, then you may not need to do this. The reason that a lot of people even do self-taught is that they, because they already have a plan in place. They, they have some sort of vision that they're going to move forward with. They know what they need to learn. They're going to dive deep and out into that. They, need, they don't need any outside help. And in this field in technology, where you're trying to get hired as a coder, a program, whatever the case may be, it's about what can you do for the company? What type of results can you produce? What can you put out there for them that's going to get them value uh, as fast and as soon as possible without any regard to what your educational background is? That's not some companies probably majority of them, but that's not all of them. Some of them are still going to want their employees to be more formalized, had a two to four year degree program so they could say that they hire educated people who have vast experience and know what they're doing inside of this field. So that's gonna be super important. So with that being said, if you wanna be a website design, website design developer, this may be the route for you to go straight to the point, wherever the case may be. But you can also, if you're looking for a more formalized look into this, then we're going to take a look now into DeVry's other tech offerings. That's more diversified than your standard traditional engineering degrees, um, software developer, computer science, that sort. So when we look at this, the first paragraph, when we, let's take a look at their tech certificate programs. You're not looking to get any four-year degree, any two-year degree. You just need a certificate. You just need to have some sort of start, some sort of foundation. Um, have some people available to you to guide that you can bounce questions off of you can feed into them a class group a certificate program is probably going to be right up your alley for that okay i'm going to read this paragraph to you right now because in this paragraph this basically outlines how the certificate programs can actually roll over into a two to four year degree program so if you need something that's very quick you just need something to springboard launch you this is probably going to be right up your alley so our online it essential certificate program will help prepare you with the fundamental it skills that provide you with experience to easily adapt to the fast change of tech industry this certificate program is stackable into an associate's degree in information technology and networking aitn as well as several additional bachelor's degree tracks stackable means that some of the courses you complete may be applied towards your next degree or certificate program at the ride so if you're looking to get a certificate you get it but then companies are going to be like you know we we need you to get more education we need you to have that more formalized uh, educational background and you can roll it over into one of these other options as we scroll down here now i'll let you take time to read all this other information um, at your own risk and everything else um right or at your own time that's what i actually mean okay so well, let's take a look at engineering technology and this they actually offer a two-year degree program i don't know many other universities that do and usually when it comes to engineering degrees you got your mechanical your electrical uh, whatever the case may be your chemical engineering but and it's just really traditional there's no specialization it's just it's just general it's just that but here you have um these specializations that you can have in general option machine learning and design techniques medical technology and healthcare systems renewable energy and sustainable power and then you can get a bachelor's degree in just standard engineering technology so even in a two-year specialization you can have in these fields and you can really like you can really offer something different that's going to make you even more valuable into that sort of market if you're interested in being getting into the more of the engineering side then on the standard IT and a two-year degree program, you have specializations in automation and electronic systems, 
information systems and programming and network systems administration and a four-year degree you can specialize in cloud-based networking and virtualization cyber security mobile and network devices and then if we look at the software software information systems um, and under the BA, which it doesn't look like they offer a two-year degree program if you're looking at software information systems, but still though, you can have specializations in cybersecurity programming, database management, software programming, web development and administration, web game programming. So if you're looking to get, you can get and go back into the media arts and do if you're just doing, trying to do pure website design and development, media arts side may be for you, but on the web development side, you may be more exposed to like Ruby on Wales, P more PHP, more of the back end stuff, more of the hardcore security based maintenance of websites when you're trying to maintain data on the back end, you're trying to structure, keep the infrastructure maintained, the, the hacking, all that other stuff. This side may be more so for you. So, and if you're also undecided, they also have that option to where you can get exposed to a lot of the credits. You can still get those courses, take those credits, roll them over, and use those credits to when you should actually make a decision it's like there's so much that i want to do in this field but i'm just going to take some courses to try to help me make a decision and once i actually see what best fits me i'm going to actually make a decision and roll those credits over until uh what i just finally settled on so that's the beauty about what devry offers in terms of these technology programs they're still ahead of the game and figuring out and keeping their ear to the ground on what's emerging here in the world and what's happening and the formalities that you need to tap into in order to be valuable and add value into that sector and like i said if you already have a vision you already are, are pretty much know it all you, you already have it kind of set up in terms of what you need to do in the tech space you know how you're going to concrete you don't need school i'm just going to be honest with you, you probably don't even need the ride at all but because i'm an alumni and it has benefited me it's allowed me to actually teach technology and work uh, one year in the field directly all right but because teaching is my first love that's what i actually started doing with my degree i started using it to become a teacher and actually teach um, technology to students then that's what i've actually used my stuff for but whatever you decide that's going to be what's best for you so godspeed on your path and what you're actually trying to do in the tech space